Hello and welcome to the Intact Integration Overview video. In this recording, we'll review the following. Connecting and initial sync, sync rules specifically for Intact, and finally an export out to Intact itself. So first, let's talk a little bit about the ways we can connect. So with Intact, there are a number of different ways I can uh, connect depending on how I've set up my Intact account entity-wise. So working with firms and partners, we've been able to build a first-of-its-kind technology that supports all multi-entity environments. So with this, the entire gamut is covered. Similar needs such as single entity to multi-entity distributed child accounts, we can handle and work with each. So that said, I'm going to go ahead and make the connection. So moving on over to this area, I can go ahead and directly connect to using my company ID, user ID, and password. Now, what we're going to sync and integrate with really depends on how I've set up the user and then how I've set up the user in terms of uh, entities within Intact. So if I have a number of different entities, but I've only connected or I've only put that person in one of those entities, it's going to make the sync with that and then pull whatever we have rights to, uh, such as locations, customers, etc. If I'm more of an admin and uh, and have maybe you know five or six different entities, and I'm at that higher level and can move between those clients and um, intact now then I'll have a choice to make when I make the connection so let me go ahead and click this or enter in my uh, information here and make that connection so I'm gonna go ahead and click connect and give it a minute it's gonna pull up a couple of here we go here we go perfect so I can choose which of these would I like to connect to I'm going to choose Consolidated Acme Holdings and click Connect. So I'll make that first initial connection and then I'll go ahead and click Start Sync to kick off the sync. So as it's going through here and connecting with Intact, I also have an Intact package. So this is something that uh, we've also created. It's an XML that I can upload into Intact itself uh, and it will allow for smart events. Uh, what this means is Whenever I make a modification uh, in our system, we'll immediately update it in Intact. Whenever I make a modification or add something new in Intact, uh, we'll go ahead and push that uh, over. So, okay, it looks like the sync's already done. Great. Let me go ahead and jump in and show you where I could uh, upload this if I needed to. So I can click this to download it. What we do here is uh, within this system, I can go ahead and navigate to the appropriate uh, client or entity here. So what I'll do is I'll go over to uh, web search. Let me go back. Let me go over to Consolidated Acme Holdings. Okay. So in here, I can go ahead, and there we go. So I have customization services customization packages and you'll see they're right here so these are our sync smart events all I need to do is in this customization packages area click add and we'll upload uh, the XML we've created to allow for smart events and allows all these different dimension data elements to be immediately updated in either system so with that said let me go ahead and take a quick look at the uh, list area where we'll have all of our dimension data so looking here, I have some employees, I have a project, locations, I have department, classes, customers, vendors, accounts, all directly here uh, in this system. And with the direct connection established and the smart events packaged uploaded, Let's see the sync in action. I'm going to go over to the company area and I'll create a new location. And let me go ahead and use Washington and click save. Okay, so I've created a brand new location. Let me go ahead and take a quick look over in here. Just refresh the page. Washington. So I have corporate New York, Washington, and I have this perhaps this is like one of the first locations I created. Let me go to this. 
Let me make it uh, inactive. Save and exit. Perfect. Let me take a quick look in this system and refresh the page. And now it's archived in the system as well. So that immediate sync, I can create something brand new here in Intact, uh, bring it directly over, or I can modify something and have that immediately reflected uh, is just really about how the sync works. It's that two-directional event-based immediate sync. I can do it with other things as well. So I can go into company. Let me go ahead and take a quick look at my classes. Great. I have another one of these very first uh, classes I set up. Maybe I don't need it. So I can get rid of it here. Let me jump over to classes and it's gone. I can do and let's do okay looks good let me take a quick look in tally boom right there immediate so immediate up to date everything's in lockstep sync so with that taken care of let's go ahead and prep for an export out to intact so I'm going to go ahead and get that set up and we'll take a quick look at the export. All right, here I have information ready to be exported out to Intact. I have a bill that will be reimbursable to a vendor and I have a non-reimbursable corporate credit card charge uh, set up a, to be imported as a charge card transaction. Before I do the actual export, let me go ahead and take a quick look at these items. So I have a bill here. I have it mapped to five different dimensions, including the dimension that we just created and brought across earlier. Charge card transaction, I have the option to bring it across or to map it to these different dimensions. I've only mapped it to a couple though. Um, but from here, let's go ahead and prep this export. So I'm going to click export all and bring these across into intact. Okay. These exported out to Intact. Let's take a quick look. First, I'm going to go into Accounts Payable and take a look at the bill. So here's the bill that we just brought across. I'm going to click on View. And here we have all the information. Uh, all the information about the vendor, all the address information, and the attachments here as well. I have the different dimension mapping here. So the account, the customizable memo, department, location, project, customer, employee, class, everything that was mapped to it, as well as, and let me bring this up, I have a report that we brought across and created, as well as the actual original uh, attachment. So all that information mapped to all the different dimensions that we synchronized, and everything's here, ready and intact, uh, ready to be paid. Now let's take a look at the charge card transaction. So going to cash management, I'm going to click on charge card transactions, and here's that meal that we just brought across. Let me go ahead and take a quick look here. And we have, oh, let me go back. I think it was actually this one. So here we go. So we have uh, the charge card, we have the date, we have the reference number, the merchant here, the account, the amount, uh, the department, uh, the memo, and everything's here and intact. So the other way that I mentioned earlier is we can also bring over a bill that would be payable to the corporate credit card uh, company. So two different ways of handling that. Um, likewise, we support effectively any module in intact that we need to integrate with, syncing uh, both ways and keeping everything in lockstep. Thanks.